LSU is a really interesting team to me uh, in the SEC this year. They're one of six SEC teams with a projected win total of nine and a half games or more. And just with them losing Jaden Daniels and Malik Neighbors, um, another first round wide receiver, you know, losing some big name guys, but also, you know, coming off year two with Brian Kelly and in both of his first two years, he's won 10 games. First year, he beat Nick Saban, which was huge. They still have a lot of talent on this team. I mean, Harold Perkins is probably going to be a top 10 draft pick. Will Campbell is arguably the best offensive line prospect in college football right now. And schedule-wise, they have some really tough games, but a majority of them are at home. But with them with them playing USC in Las Vegas at Allegiant Stadium, I think they're going to have a great opportunity to set the tone for the season. And I've been someone who's been very vocal about how I feel about USC. I do not think they're going to be a good team this year. I see them going around like seven and five, eight and four. Uh, I think Lincoln Riley's going to start to get on the hot seat a little bit, just for the fact that he was hired to come in there and bring them back to national prominence, and he just has not been able to do that yet, even with Caleb Williams. But besides the point, we're talking about LSU. I think LSU's got a great chance to make a statement that game. And I think they're going to. I think they're going to beat USC by 17, 20, 24 points. And the college football world, who is so focused, at least with the SEC right now, on Texas, on Georgia, on Alabama, with Kalen DeBoer coming in there and replacing Nick Saban. Um, LSU's got a really good team, man. I think, again, like we just talked about USC, they have Ole Miss at home who's going to be a great team. You know, Ole Miss, they've got Jackson Dart back, Brady Prescorn, um, you know, Harris at wide receiver. They were able to pull in some really big transfers on defense. That's a home game. You know, that's in Death Valley. LSU goes to a and I don't think they're going to have too much trouble with that. I think Elko just got a ton of work he has to do there before a and becomes a real problem. And then they get Alabama at home, who – you know, you they were able to beat in year one under Brian Kelly. And with Kalen DeBoer being there, you know, Bama's got a tough schedule early. They go to Wisconsin. They have uh, Georgia at home. I could see LSU winning that game. And then they have Oklahoma for their last game of the year at home. And Oklahoma's got, like, on in my opinion, the toughest schedule in the SEC. But... LSU at nine and a half wins. I know there's some question marks about how good the quarterback play is going to be, um, you know how explosive they're going to be on the outside. I see them going around ten and two in the regular season. I think Brian Kelly, regardless of what opinion people have on him, because some people are very big haters of Brian Kelly with the way that he left Central Michigan, did it again at Cincinnati, did it again at Notre Dame. Regardless of how you feel about the guy, he wins everywhere. You know, he won X amount of national championships at Grand Valley, um, won at Central, won at Cincinnati, won at Notre Dame, which is a really tough place to do what he did just because of, you know, the academic standard that Notre Dame has, the amount, like the, the requirement for a kid that they can recruit. And Marcus Freeman, who granted has only been there for two years, He's been having some trouble. He hasn't been able to, uh, you know, pull off any of those big wins, which they've had opportunities to, you know, against Ohio State both years, especially last year. Brian Kelly wins. It doesn't matter who's on the field. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. He will find ways to win big games. So I I really do feel like he's a coach that's overhated. But, again, with Will Campbell and Harold Perkins leading the offensive and defensive sides of the ball – They're going to be a very physical team. They're going to tackle well. They're going to block well. And I really like their odds to make the college football playoff. I don't know about making the SEC title game. Personally, I have Texas against Georgia, and I have Texas beating Georgia um, and getting revenge for an earlier season loss at home. But, again, you can only have 12 teams in the playoff, right? So I could see Texas getting in, Georgia getting in, LSU getting in. And then you still have Alabama, Missouri, Ole Miss. The SEC is just stacked this year. So if LSU is able to get into the playoff after losing 
so many explosive players. I think that's going to be a true testament of how solid a coach uh, Brian Kelly is. But I think it's going to be a good year. And with the recruiting class that they have coming in, this is only going to help them to continue to recruit at that elite level.